my dear fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ a warm welcome to this lenten journey with me i am father nelson lobo and you are watching my channel the wandering guru the theme of the day is make your choice and the readings of the day are taken from deuteronomy chapter 30 verses 15 to 20 and from luke chapter 9 verses 22 to 25 You know in the first reading we get to hear about Israelites. The Israelites were getting ready to leave the desert and enter the promised land Canaan, the land of milk and honey. Moses had some final words for his people as he was not going to be joining them but leaving them in the capable hands of his successor Joshua. Moses tells his people to make a choice, either they obey God's commandments and live or they suffer evil choice is of the people in the gospel of the day jesus speaks about suffering he says make your choice deny yourself take up your cross and follow me he further says what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul remember this words inspired the great missionary saint francis xavier my dear followers of christ We are faced with choices daily. Some may seem trifling, not important, what to wear, what to eat, what to do. Other choices are significant having ramifications for the future about a school, the choice of a career, where we live, who we shall marry, who will come into our lives. Yet, of all the choices with which we are faced, of all the barrage of options set before us, there is none as important as to how we relate to god in our daily lives if you want to make the right choice choose obedience over disobedience to god obedience to god is the key to deepening our spiritual life all of the biblical characters had experienced god's mighty power and deliverance because of their faithfulness and obedience to god Let's take some examples from the Bible. God kept Daniel safe in the lion's den because he chose to obey God. Queen Esther's courage comes from her trust and obedience to God. Noah and his family were saved because he was a righteous man and blameless in his generation. Joseph remained faithful to God despite being a slave and and prisoner in Egypt, and through him his family also was saved. Through Moses God had performed great miracles. When people like Cain, Saul, Samson and even the Israelites chose to have excuses to disobey God, they lost it all and did not end pretty well. It's the same problem today. We end up suffering and losing because we tend to obey our ego, our own thinking, not our God. You see my brothers and sisters, our obedience flows from a heart that is yielded to him. a life that is surrendered to his will and not our will tremendous blessings come as a result of obeying god think about what the world would be like if everyone obeyed everything god said in his word the bible imagine if russian president had to obey the voices of the world not to invade ukraine there would be no war today imagine if all the children had obe- had to ob- obey their parents Imagine all the people had to obey traffic rules. Disobedience is the cause, major cause of suffering in this world. In the gospel Jesus reveals that he will be crucified on a rugged cross. Did you realize even God the Father had to make a choice? God chose the death of his one and only son so that we could be saved. Jesus said to his followers, "You have followed me with miracle while miracles were taking place." You followed me when the multitudes came to hear my teaching and were fed but now that I am heading to a cross will you still follow me Jesus has blessed us in many different ways my brothers and sisters are we ready to follow him even when life becomes difficult even when we experience faith crisis true followers follow no matter what's the cost they are sold out to Christ no price is too high no distance is too far they will follow they follow because of faith not feelings followers put aside their own desires and walk in the spirit following jesus will get you to heaven but by way of the cross there is no other way 
Anyone who follows Christ will know the rejection, pain and suffering that goes with carrying the cross. If you want to reign with him, you must die with him. Without a cross, there is no crown. There is no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. Just like a seed in the field, without death, there is no life. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, that was about the readings of the day. The saint of the day is Catherine Drexel. St. Catherine was an American heiress, philanthropist, religious, educator and found, foundress born in 1858. She was born in a wealthy family. She had great interest in the spiritual and material well-being of the Africans and the Native Americans. She founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament and opened schools for the Native Americans and African Americans. St. Catherine died in 1955. So my dear brothers, let us close this video with a small prayer. Abba Father, you made a choice to sacrifice your only beloved Son to save us. Fill us with your grace that we may make the right choice of obeying you in all circumstances and to walk in the footsteps of your Son without counting the cost. Help us to die to our ego and our selfishness so that we may be born to eternal life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters.